My name is Sandra Cho. I work um, at National Instruments as an Applications Engineer here. Um, I was one of the people who were working on this particular CMOS sensor demo. So CMOS um, sensors are sensors that you would see in um, you know, cameras or uh, camera phones. So they're little small IC, uh, you know, ICs that we have. Uh, so as you see, we in terms of software, we use NI test stand to sequence everything. We're using LabVIEW. Uh, we also use NI Vision to do a lot of the image processing. Um, in terms of hardware, let's take a look at the hardware now. Uh, we have here um, a PXI 1031 as a chassis. We have a controller, but in terms of um, the actual uh, processing or the actual hardware dealing with all this testing is our HSDIO card, um, the 6552. We also have in our chassis a 4071, which is our high uh, seven and a half digit DMM, very high precision, one of the highest that we have, um, and also another um, power supply, the 4110. Um, this, the 4110 is a power supply that's pro power, providing power to our CMOS sensor and our DMM is actually measuring current um, to, uh, and pa calculating power and our HSTIO actually does, has two functions. One function is to actually do I squared C communication to the CMOS sensor as well as um, actually grabbing digital data from the CMOS sensor. So we have here a test picture and test images. So one of the test images is, you know, resolution test, basic test image, for what we will see for common um, resolution type tests for CMOS sensors or uh, images in general. So let's put this in CMOS sensor here. One of the reasons why we're using test stand is we want to be able to sequence several of these um, different tests at a time. So here we're actually uh, setting the different values for the CMOS sensor. In the back end, this is where we configure um, the I square C commands to the sensor itself um, and also to kind of initiate uh, the HSDIO commands or tasks to grab information. So here is a test sequence. Uh, in this case, we can select a different test. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off some of these ones here to show you the resolution test as well as the dead pixel test. These are common tests that a uh, you know, CMOS sensor manufacturer will be using to test their stuff. This is a frame rate test, which allows us to see, to grab the information. So if you can kindly put your hand over the sensor, you'll notice that it's going to turn black and we're actually grabbing images right now. And this here we have frame rate as well as uh, the different colors that we can set in the Bayer encoder. Um, and this is just a way of setting to make sure that we're getting a white balance here. So if I adjust these values, you'll notice that it changes color of our sensor and our image here. And here's the test itself. This is uh, the resolution test. What it does is it grabs a particular, it takes a snapshot of the image, and then it scans through to find the lowest resolution that we have. Um, you'll see here where the lowest resolution is located here and here. And this location, uh, how to define that lowest resolution is where it can no longer define the edge of where it comes, like, you know, from goes from black to white. And that's how we define the lowest resolution. So the next test that we're going to do is the dead um, pixel test. What it does is it takes a snapshot of a black image and then it finds all the pixels where um, it wasn't quite black or there's a, a failed pixel of some sort. So we can identify one that's right here. So what I did was do an overlay on top of the actual pixel so we can actually see it. Um, and here we have located dead pixel found. There's four of them and the percentage of dead pixels as well as the location. And once the test is all complete, we now have uh, a report in test end that tells us like uh, what, how the uh, test performed, um, if it passed the test or not, and if it meets specs. So that's, in, in, I guess, to recap, we're using our HSCIO to stream data, and we're using test end to kind of sequence everything in terms of how to test the CMOS sensor. That's not going to go on the